You want to get people to subscribe to your channel, and one of the best ways to do that is to remind them with a call to action during your video. If you want to level up that call to action, having an animated subscribe icon in your video while you're reminding your viewers to subscribe is a great way to get them to click that red button. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an animated subscribe button to your videos. Content here on Creator Fundamentals is made possible by our sponsors. Today's video is sponsored by Soundstripe. Soundstripe offers thousands of high quality audio tracks to take your content to the next level. And now Soundstripe has leveled up their service once again. Introducing Soundstripe Video. Soundstripe Video offers over 70,000 HD, 4K, and even 5K video clips to take your content to the next level. And with the introduction of video, Soundstripe now offers music, sound effects, and videos on one convenient platform. And with their curated video playlists, you're now able to find exactly what you're looking for in far less time. And for a limited time, you can use the promo code CREATORCREW to save 20% off your subscription. Now is the time to go pro with Soundstripe. All right, so let's take a look at how we add this animated subscribe button to our videos. This has to be done in your editor. You can't upload it directly to YouTube and apply it to your videos in any way. So you are going to need to have a video editor to make this work. You're also going to need a video editor that allows multiple layers. So first thing we're gonna do is import that image. You're gonna get two different images. First, we're gonna start with the one with the green background. It's an MP4. The other version is actually transparent already and it's a .mov. I'm gonna show you how this green one works first. You're also gonna to have to have color keen as an option in your editor as well, but we'll show you exactly what to do here. So if we drag this to a new layer on top of our existing video, we'll see that when it appears, the background is green. So step one is get that on its own layer, make sure that everything looks good. And then in your editor, you need to find your color key option. In Premiere Pro, it's called color key. We're gonna grab onto that, click on it, and drag it over that element. And we'll see when we do that, and we highlight this, we'll have the uh, effects controls on the left here. So first thing we're gonna do is color key. We're gonna click the little eyedropper and click on that green. Now you can see that it removed most of the background, but we're looking a little squirrely around the animation itself. So we're gonna clean that up and we're gonna zoom in just so I can show you uh, how that uh, how that looks and what we're actually, let's do, can we do 150? 150 might be better. Keep zooming up on my face, that's terrifying. All right. So here is our element, and what we're basically trying to do is make it so when this element runs, you're not seeing any of that green. So first we're going to tweak the tolerance. I'm going to bring that up. You'll see as we move it, it removes that green because it's slight variations in the green that it wasn't, uh, wasn't picking up. So we want to get that to a nice thin edge the best we can. And then we're going to go down to the edge thin, and we're going to adjust that and I just want it to till it hides that and then we want to see what this looks like and here on the platform there is one thing that keeps coming back as the most important aspect to really focus your time and energy on it and then we'll look at that full screen just to see what the effect looks like on the platform, there is one thing that keeps coming back as the most important aspect to really focus your time and energy on. Now the other file is a .mov file. It's actually transparent already and uh, you should just be able to drop that into your viewer. Now trying to view that file on a PC uh, can sometimes be tricky. Uh, but when you drop it into something like Premiere Pro, it does read it as the transparent image and it's uh, set up this way. Now, just because this is set up like this where it takes up the whole screen, if we look at this whole item, you certainly have the ability to move this layer around and you can... Uh, you know, choose to put this in the middle of your screen or however you want to handle it. Just a quick bonus tip here. It is a good idea to make a verbal call to action while you're displaying the animation to encourage people to click that button. And hey, don't forget this video has been sponsored by TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is your number one browser plugin for managing and growing your YouTube channel. It's available to download for free. There's a link in the description below, or you can go to trytubebuddy.today and get started for free. Good news, you don't have to go out there searching for your own animated subscribe button to add to your videos. 
I'm going to put a link in the description below to tubetemplates.com, my site for affordable graphics for your YouTube channel. And if you use the link in the description below, as well as the promo code creator crew, you'll save 30% off your order. That's a limited time promotion, so be sure to grab that before it expires. Remember that 30% discount is a limited time offer, so go ahead and click the link on the screen right now to grab your animated subscribe button.